I know. I know. I don't look like that kind of guy. I don't have that angelic, compassionate expression or a twinkle in my eye or that shy and understanding smile. My words are not soft nor comforting. My caress ain't all that tender. I am not that welcoming to my humble abode, especially if you are an unexpected visitor. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is you probably wouldn't mistake me for someone who would give you solace in your final moments. That is, that is unless you are a cockroach. I can't really explain it. I don't really understand why. I know for sure that I'm not that kind of guy, but cockroaches come to my apartment to die. It's like somebody put up an invisible sign at the front of my house reading, Cockroach Hospice. <laughs> now don't get me wrong. Even though I look like a schlub, I am quite tidy. I do not leave food out unattended. You can count on my kitchen counter to be spotless and my kitchen sink dishless. So as much as I don't have a reason for healthy go-getting roaches with an appetite for life and other things to pay me a visit, I certainly do not have an excuse for roaches on their deathbed to come over for a last supper. And it's not like I preemptively spray around with roach pesticide to kill a thriving local population. No, sorry, Bob. These roaches are poisoned in other apartments in my building, and they choose to relocate to my apartment and spend their dying moments with me. Now, I've been doing a lot of soul-searching lately, and I truly don't know how I feel about all this situation. On one hand, it's kind of flattering that they choose to spend with me their last rides of walking upright on my cold apartment floor before flipping legs up and ascending to Roach Heaven. I mean, you guys, that's so sweet of you. But on the other hand, more tentacle, I'd much rather celebrate life with my terminal guests. What kind of morbid designation is this anyway? Who are you to cast me as that guy who listens to your final confession, presumably uttered in a thick Spanish accent, La Cucaracha style? <laughs> yeah, forgive me, Padre, for I have sinned. I once popped out of nowhere while a girl was on the toilet, and I scared her shitless. <laughs> Who am I to give clemency to such a vile act? How do you eulogize a roach? Ernesto, he was a jolly good roach. A little mischievous, but he wore his heart on his, on his, on his wing. And who's ordained me to perform that gruesome, grotesque task of giving these poor little bastards a proper burial by lifting their cold, lifeless bodies off the floor with a piece of scrap paper and flushing them down the toilet? Well, what do you wear to such a funeral? Is there a dress code? Nobody's ever prepared me for this calling. But you know what? Maybe I'm overanalyzing this a little bit too much. Maybe it is what it is. This is not a divine trial of sorts. I'm not being put through some kind of test of character and morality. My apartment was not built on an ancient Canaanite burial ground for roaches. My living room isn't a teleportation portal to another roachy dimension or anything mystical like that. Maybe I should just live and let die. But I can't help shake that feeling of remorse Every time I smash the shit out of a live and healthy roach who flies in randomly through the porch. Maybe it's one of my terminal vermin's relatives or acquaintances. Why do I exhibit such consideration and care towards the weak and the dying and the dead, but not for the able and the capable? and the living. 
But don't we all do that? Thank you.